Sometimes people take a long time to write an article or to make a video because they feel like they have to do yet more research. The problem is when you start doing research on your topic, you realize that there is even more research you need to do. It is endless. So what I really recommend is that you separate the time that you do your writing and recording from the time that you do your research. And in fact, you should be committing yourself to a regular rhythm of creation, of production, of putting out articles and videos. Make a commitment to that kind of consistency, knowing that you're already doing research on the side anyway because you're interested in your field, aren't you? I mean, just naturally you're reading articles or watching videos about your field or maybe you're taking courses or reading books or talking to people or even experiencing your own um, experiments and modality and, and you know taking notes about it. Maybe you're working with clients and you're taking notes about that. Your own research is already happening naturally. You don't have to commit to doing more research. Now, let me just quickly say that there are several types of research. One is exploratory. One, a second one is confirmatory. And the third one is original or primary. So exploratory is where this is something you're, you're naturally doing. You're already reading articles because you enjoy your field. You're already reading books or taking courses or talking to people. Like I said, you're already doing that stuff anyway. You're just learning on a natural basis. I mean, the fact that you're watching this video means that you are a natural student. You, you like to learn. So exploratory research is happening just by itself, right? The second type is confirmatory research, which is where you are confirming a particular fact or number or date, or you're confirming a definition of, of a word or something like that. And so, for example, when I was, before I made this video, I had to do a quick Google to make sure I was using the word confirmatory correctly. So that's an example of confirmatory research. And that happens quickly when you're creating, when you're writing or recording. It's like, okay, let me just quickly search this, make sure I'm saying the right word, using the right number, saying the right fact or whatever. And that, that should be quick. And that's, that's, that can be done during your, your writing. But that's not, you know, don't feel like you have to define every word in your article, right? Or every concept, because you assume that people are already, they've gotten some background so that they can, con they can consume your content, um, and get enough out of it. So don't, don't do as much confirmatory research. You don't need to do as much confirmatory research as you think you do. Just 15 minutes while you're writing an article is totally fine. The third type of research is the most valuable, and that's original or primary research. This is where you do experiments on your, on, on your own life. You know, you have maybe you've taken several techniques and you've combined them into your own technique and you've tried it out yourself or you have worked on with friends on this or, or clients on this. And now you're reporting back on what it's like to experience this particular technique or process that that you are that you've put together. OK, the other type of original research is where you uh, you could also be using someone else's technique and reporting back on what it's like. That's original research, too. The other type of research, original or primary research, is when you take a survey of other people. It's like maybe have your have like 30 people vote on something and then you could report back to say, well, based on my survey of 30 people, 100 people, my email list or whatever. Um, this is what people are generally saying. You could also get quotes from multiple people and put that into an article. So that is the most valuable. And that, of course, needs additional time for you to carve out for original research. But let me just end this video by saying this. You already know enough. Such that I bet you could write a new article every week for an entire year and not have to do another minute of research and still have those articles be valuable. You have already experienced enough in your field where if you just talk off the top of your head about something, 
again, maybe with 10 to 15 minutes of confirmatory research when you're writing the article. But just off the top of your head, you know enough to be helpful to the many people in your audience. It's true. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in your audience. All right. So please, I'll end by saying this. Commit to the consistent rhythm of creating content and stop worrying about having to confirm or research thing, things before you're ready to write or you're ready to record or you're ready. No, your ideal audience, in fact, the most ideal audience members for you are not the people who are you know, reading your article with their arms crossed and go, well, let me research that thing you just said. That's not your ideal audience. Your true fans are the people who are simply appreciative of the articles you put out, the videos you put out, and they're not going, goes, let me research every, you know, no. I mean, I don't think any of you, my true fans, are researching everything I say. I mean, maybe a few of you do, but, but that's not the kind of people, I mean, the people who are trying to debunk us are not our true fans anyway. So you have all the knowledge and experience within you already to create dozens of your next coming, your upcoming articles or videos. And while you're doing that consistently, you're going to be doing exploratory research or original research on the side anyway. That's just your interest in your field. So go for it. Go and create consistently at least one article or video or podcast episode a week. And you will actually increase your knowledge in your field by creating and actually know what else you need to research. So I hope this helps. I'm George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. Love talking about building a meaningful business that's genuinely helpful to others. And I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in another video or episode. Take care.